All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Fishing at First Aren't. What I'm going to attempt to do is a new challenge that is between myself, Lucky Bass Thumb, HPTV, Spank That Bass TV, Grab Life by the Fish, and Yak Pack Outdoor. Now what it is, is it's a, it's a five bait challenge. There are five baits that we have to use and we can't move on to the next bait until we catch a fish on the previous bait. And so the baits are a lipless crankbait, a chatterbait, a jig, a senko, and a hollow body frog. So I'm going to attempt to knock out part of this challenge right now. Right behind me is this uh, big pond, really. I don't even know if there's fish in this. Um, right now I'm down in Fort Myers, Florida, so never fished this place. Looked it up on Google Maps. Had about maybe 45 minutes of daylight left after I got off work, so let's see if I can make something happen. Again, I appreciate everybody watching. I'm gonna switch to my GoPro right now. So this is what the pond looks like. Like I said, I don't even know if there's fish in this pond or, or anything. I do see movement. So that is a good sign. That tells me that there's something living in here. Probably a gator. It's Florida, guys. So I'm just gonna cast this, the first bait on the challenge, the a rattle trap. For all I know, there might be 10 pounders in here. Or there might be nothing. So nothing so far. I'm seeing bait fish. Haven't seen what kind of bait fish yet, but I'm starting to see some fish hit the uh, the surface a little bit, which makes me want to throw a top water, but I can't do that until I catch something on this bait. Oh my gosh, I see a giant bass right there. Okay, so there's big bass in here. Holy freaking smokes. That was a big bass. Good, I'm excited now. I should be casting straight down the shoreline. He's right in front of me right here. He's uh, probably a good three pounds, I would say. He's a decent sized bass. I just need to find some aggressive ones that are feeding right now, and I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna go ahead and cast down this bank. As you can see, it's very rocky, which is good. Rocky's good, as long as I don't get snagged up in the rocks, but oh my gosh, there's another big bass. There are some big bass sitting over here. All right, so this bass is sitting right out here. You ever flipped a uh, rattle trap? Let's see if he's interested. So that sign says danger. Alligators and snakes near the area do not go near the water. Every body of water in Florida holds alligators and snakes. Everything I fish, I look at on Google Maps just to determine how old the uh, body of water is and what the chances are of it holding big bass or not. This one has pretty good chances. It's about uh, 40 plus years old, and I've already seen some pretty decent fish. I just gotta try to catch them. Okay, I was just burning it in, and I felt something swipe at it again they're not committing to it I don't know what's going on there's a little one. Oh, quick release again chill out chill out I'll help you out buddy well there's the first one mission complete not a giant all right guys so you seen me catch one on the uh, lipless crank it was a dink but hey it's a catch I'm going to fish the, uh, the chatterbait. This chatterbait actually uh, Lunkers TV left here. Seen him catch a crap ton of fish on it, so I'm going to throw this in here next since uh, that's next up on the list. Been a long time since I've uh, fished a chatterbait or caught a fish on a chatterbait, so let's see how it goes. I do know it is effective. I just fish other baits. Oh, it just got bumped right there by something. It's funny you watch uh, fish. When it gets close to you, you can see fish knock it sideways, getting aggressive with it. Kind of cool. There's one. He's a decent one. Oh yeah, he's a big old bass. Good bass. Oh, he's a tank. Woo! Pretty good bass right here, guys. All right, guys, the chatterbait and a nice bass. Look at that guy. He's probably, I don't know, probably three and a half plus, and he's peeing on me. So good bass. Let's get him back in the water. Crank that thing. All right, guy. Go ahead. All right, guys, so last night you seen me complete the first uh, two baits of the challenge. Um, I didn't have much time. It was getting dark, so it's the next day. I'm on my lunch break. I'm gonna go ahead and try this pond right here behind me. And uh, next uh, next bait up in the lineup is the Senko. So I have the Senko, the Jig, 
and the top water holly bolly frog left neck. So wish me luck. All right guys, so continuation of the challenge. I am back home now, back from my business trip. So, so far I've caught fish on the lipless crank, the chatterbait I caught a pretty nice fish on. I caught a fish on the Sanko. Now I just have to catch something on the jig and the hollow body frog. So that's what I'm going for now. I got a hollow body frog tied on. I got two jigs on two different rods. Um, so we're gonna see what I can make happen now. Hopefully I can close this out today. This is uh, What day is today? It's Wednesday. So it's Wednesday the 12th of April I'm trying to close it out today. I got two baits left I think I can get it done today. We'll see the holly body frog. I haven't fished one in a while But there's a little bit of weeds around here. I think I can make it happen. There's some big fish in here, too, so All right guys, so like I said, I have a, a swim jig tied on And then I have a little bit smaller swim jig tied on with a uh, little bit darker uh, Kitek. And then to finish it off, I have the uh, a bronze eye popping frog. So let's make it happen. All right, throwing the swim jig. Oh, got him. Uh, he feels like a good fish. Oh, he's not bad. All right, the swim jig. It's not bad, pretty bass. Time for you to go back. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to finish this challenge. About to hit the uh, one of the ponds by my house, so let's make it happen. Let's get this thing done with. Mr. Gator, back off, buddy. I don't like when they go subsurface and I can't see him. Oh, shit. Hook the gator again, no. Oh no. This guy is strong. <laughs> Got him again. That dude is strong. Yeah, it's all... But like you said, you can't get in there unless you have a kayak. 
All right, guys, mission complete, challenge is over. Hope you all enjoyed it. I caught one small bass on the lipless crankbait or the rattle trap. Um, I caught a pretty nice bass actually on the white chatterbait. And then the Senko, I caught a, a small bass again. And then on the jig, the fourth bait, I caught a decent sized bass. He might've been a pound and a half. And then you seen what happened on that, uh, on the hollow body frog on my last bait. And I actually hooked into like a six foot gator not once but twice it was stripping out some drag it was very strong he straightened out my hook on my hollow body frog and so the rules of the challenge were if you catch anything besides a bass then it sets you back one uh, to the previous bait well i actually ended up not catching the gators i just hooked them so i don't have to go back one but i did not catch a fish on that hollow body frog so um, it was a fun challenge. I'm really not sure what everybody else caught, but I'm sure they caught fish. Um, I had a good time and I'm looking forward to the next challenge. If y'all like this, uh, this type of video, you know, give it a thumbs up and leave any comments you might have below and I'll get back to you on them. If this is your first time visiting my channel and, and you enjoy the videos that I do, go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a subscriber. Um, other than that though, I had a good time. I appreciate y'all sharing it with me. And until next time, fish on.